This is Lindsay with Playbill.com. Every Wednesday through Monday morning, theater goers line up outside the Palace Theater for rush tickets to Legally Blonde, one of Broadway's hottest new musicals. We at Playbill Video are going to treat two of these fans to a Playbill Pass, dinner for two at Sardi's, house seats for the performance, and a special surprise. Our lucky pair is Danielle and Jocelyn, theater-loving sisters from Salt Lake City, Utah, who are on summer vacation in the city. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Uh, really excited. Free tickets. Fact, <laughs> we never win anything. <laughs> the most popular dish here at Sardis? We have several dishes that are that are extremely popular. Um, the cannelloni we've had on the menu since the late 40s um, and we've always had it on our menu. We have people who have been here 60 years ago and they come in and ask for cannelloni. Bocondo loche is our most famous dessert and that's more of like a strawberry shortcake. Without the cake it's meringue instead and it's the same thing. We've had it for 60, 70 years on the menu. Sounds good to me. <laughs> what do you guys have? I had halibut. I got the chicken. It was really good. And you're excited for your evening? We're so excited. We can't wait. This is the coolest thing we've ever done. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go walk to the theater. Okay. Nominated for seven Tony Awards, Legally Blonde is based on its amazingly popular cinematic predecessor starring Reese Witherspoon. With the talented Lorbel Bundy as Elle Woods, the musical hit Broadway with a bang. Oh my God! What did you think of the show? It was really cute. We loved it. Did you have a favorite song or a favorite scene? My favorite number was the jump rope number when they're in prison. It was The choreography was so good. I loved it. We're going to go down that way towards the stage door. I'm going to hand you the mic, and you're going to get to meet and interview and ask questions to the cast members. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Very serious. Well, we're about to interview some members of the cast from Legally Blonde, so let's hope our interviewing skills are okay. Okay. Hey, how are you? I'm Annalie. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. So what's it like to have this be your big Broadway debut? Oh, it's thrilling because sometimes we forget why we do this. And then you'll have a moment where you look out into the house and people are just totally involved in the story and escaping from whatever they've been going on, you know, in their day. And this is why we do it. And you couldn't ask for a better stage to do it. I mean, the Palace Theater, it's, it's a dream. It's my, all my dreams come true. So what's your favorite part of the show? Well, the jump rope number is a little scary. Knock on wood, I have not fallen, but the jump rope has fallen into a million pieces. It's broken apart and fallen all over the stage. It's made out of little links. And so I've had to stand in the middle of the stage and give you some sort of Britney Spears nonsense without a rope, which was a classic. So what's it like coming to work every day with your husband? Oh, or it's, it's, or what? I think it's the most fun part of the whole thing is to get to like hang out with him yeah. and do the show and people never know. Do you do anything special when your wife's singing on stage, when you're backstage? Uh, what do I do backstage? <laughs> But more or less, just say her name a lot these are, backstage. These are not things um, you can say in public. <laughs> we just heard that you were a former Miss America. What kind of made you, have you always been into theater, or did you kind of switch from pageants to theater? You know, Miss America was kind of my first rise to any kind of prominence, but it certainly was, I didn't want to be a professional pageant contestant or a professional ex-Miss <laughs> yeah. America, so I sort of came back to what I kind of knew how to do. Well, I guess your hard work paid off. You kind of have to just work as hard as you can at as many things as you're good at, and you, you'll be surprised by the opportunities that come your way. Well, you did a great job, and we loved the show and loved you. So thanks so much for talking to us. Bye.